Hey guys, this is Kyle with Lone Peak here. Uh, I've been diving into CAD, redesigning the extrusions for our camper. The extrusions are the parts that make up the main load bearing frame. Uh, a lot of you guys have been voicing concerns about the overhang portion on here on our camper. I have four and a half feet. Uh, over, overall length of the camper is 10 feet, my bed's five and a half. Uh, I had zero issues with this. Um, but some of you are asking, hey, this uh, could be an issue if there's more overhang. Uh, let's say I have a five foot sort of Tacoma, then I'll get five feet of overhang. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? So there's two things um, about our main beam that are pretty awesome. It's about five inches tall. And this is much taller than any competitor on the market. Our uh, height here is about eight inches. Uh, competitors have theirs around six inches. Uh, we prioritize strength and room so we can basically have our pass-through space. Um, and because of the overall length, we had to build this taller, which also uh, allowed us to have a thicker mattress. So we basically add another two inches in the mattress, which makes it super comfy. So anyway, uh, what I want to share with you guys is one, we had zero issues on the trip with this amount of overhang. Uh, but I want to show you some, some data from my CAD model. Um, so this is actually a model of let me go here to displacement uh, of our current extrusion beam and what we're doing right here is a static load analysis uh, it's not dynamic this is basically if you just put load on one end of the beam and you have the other end entirely fixed what happens and so especially it's great to compare our current extrusion versus the final extrusion which i'm working on just to compare the overall strength um, some of this you actually have to just kind of build and uh, test out and see how it does, especially for more of the dynamic load scenarios. Uh, but let me show you what the current one does. And right now we're basically looking at an overall deflection. And that just means how far it's going to move if, uh, if we put a ton of weight on this end. And we're looking at a five foot section right now. And because that's basically the, the max overhang, unless we do something like a Maverick and then it'll be a five and a half foot, which we also have to test. Um, and so the amount of force that we're putting on a single beam is a thousand newtons. Uh, that's basically 224 pounds. So right now it's saying the current beam would deflect um, about three inches. Um, that'll be about half that if you spread the load over uh, two of the beams. And again, this doesn't take any of the other factors into account. This doesn't take the roof beam into account. Um, which that'll also add a lot of structural rigidity. This is worst case scenario if this thing is opened um, and I'm basically hanging on the front of this doing pull-ups. So let's look at what we're moving to on the new extrusion. And we're gonna compare apples to apples here. Again, it's a thousand Newtons, which I didn't honestly believe this analysis when I first saw it. Um, the the comparison between the two is is staggering. So. Um, we basically have uh, about three quarters of an inch here versus three inches on the other one. Uh, and this will be half that. So imagine I'm on the front again doing pull-ups when it's open and it'll def deflect about three eighths of an inch, uh, which is incredible. And to achieve that strength, we basically, we actually removed a ton of material. So this will be about 60% lighter than the other extrusion. Um, but we have a lot of vertical walls running through here and a little bit taller of an extrusion. Uh, so all this to say, uh, don't worry about the overhang. Um, I mean, I guess at this point, if the, um, if the extrude is going to hold up, then it goes to the bed clamps, you know, are the bed clamps going to be strong enough? And we are going to redesign those because they did slide a tiny bit on our crazy road trip. So, uh, if you guys have any questions at all, please reach out, comment below. Uh, I'll keep the updates coming. Thanks, guys.